Okay, now where all can we use this particular uh, solutions? Number one, in, in any organization that we are entering, the next time when we enter that organization, I did not need to send my complete biometric to be validated at that particular office. Okay, but how do we enter in up? Next time when I am when I am entering the office, my, my biometric will be will be given to them, and at the same time I I will use uh, that biometric to generate a proof using uh, the combination uh, of of the public key that I have, and that will be shared to that particular organization. And now in that organization, they will validate uh, using the corresponding uh, corresponding verification. Uh, uh, very corresponding private key that can be used uh, to check that yes I am in the correct position of this particular number. Now there are other solutions as well uh, in, in railways, in, in passport offices, in driving licenses, in many other scenarios wherever the communication is online or even offline by using a particular device to convert that uh, to transfer only the proof to them uh, that can easily be used. So consider the example that I am, I, am a, I am a driving person, I am driving a motorbike, the traffic policeman comes, show me your valid uh, driving license. Now what I will do is that, uh, now not only that they can check if that I am actually in possession, they can also check if I am in that particular range of my age or in the gender on that particular demographies as well. There is a particular solution for uh, checking in the range as well. So now what I will I will generate that the the the, the traffic policeman wants to verify that a I am I am in government of uh, I am the citizen of government of India. Two I have a driving license with a driving license number matching my photograph. The 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 proof that I need to generate will be using my public key and I will generate my proof uh, for all these three uh, all these three things and send it uh, through a device to that particular uh, officer if he is in person real me or something like that the person will also have their own identity uh, verifier device that can be used to check if yes the person is having the government of india citizenship having the driving license the photograph is also the same that is matching that's it so that's how uh, we can even in the real life can use it up maybe it's a bit hypothetical for you to use it up because you have not seen it in the real life but very soon any organization can use it up to validate uh, these solutions as as well where all can be used any time when I am entering in a premise of the organization where where my identity needs to be verified when I am entering in front of my laptop uh, it needs to be verified at the particular data center or at the server that at that point of time Amit Dua logged into access that that special file even though I have role based access to access it up further and various various other scenarios whenever I need to validate my identity uh, and I am using certain certain direct identity to validate that, I can always give the proof to validate that. You are using your social media, social media identities like Gmail and others to validate can I access that particular software or not online. Which services are you using? Every service you are using. Your Zomatos, your Swiggies, your Gmails, even your Zoom and uh, and and other services, whatever you are using for uh, for social media, for the services for educational access, everything you need to validate using some user ID password. And that user ID password is nothing but the proof that you are in, uh, that's just like a subscription number. You can always give the proof that yes, I am in the possession of the subscription number without even giving the subscription number. It can be your just email ID and password combinations as well. Thank you so much.